What's up YouTube? Back with another video for Carnivorous Plants Journey. And today I just wanted to show you guys my Nepenthes Ampularia. Um, I got this one. I bought it as a seed plant. So this was popped from a seed. This is not a clone. And this one is a cross between Ampularia Red and Ampularia Black Miracle. Um, you know, when you buy a seed plant though, you kind of you're gonna get a lot of variations of plants. They're not just gonna come out like one or the other, or just exactly, you know, I was hoping to get something along the lines of a lot more of the parent of the red or the black miracle. But unfortunately this one came a little bit more on the full out just green side, but nonetheless, it was my first Ampularia and I'm definitely sentimentally attached to it. I love this thing. Um, these were the first pictures that came. They're kind of dying off now, as you can see. These were the ones that came with it. Um, they were actually for coming on a plant that was having pictures. Pictures. These were actually pretty big pictures. Um, since I've had it, this was the first picture that grew out while it was in my care. Um, definitely had some good leaf jumps. Love the uh, the ladders on these. Or the wings are just super, super big. Just super pronounced. Um, they tend to have this little. Uh, little tiny wing back here that I like. This is the, the last picture that came out. Here's that little wing I was talking about on the back. It's almost like a little tiny mini ladder. And uh, the leaf jumps and the uh, the pitcher jumps were pretty heavy on these. Um, you see the ampularia, the, um, the peristome is kind of just like straight down. It was a lot more green when I very first got it, but as time went on, the pitcher started to get, I'm not sure if you can see it, but on the peristome, it started to get some, um, some red speckling and a little bit of black speckling on there. So as this plant gets a little bit bigger, I'm hoping it'll get um, a little bit more pronounced colors of those, uh, of the parents between the red or the black miracle. Both of them are really gorgeous plants. Um, not to say I don't like this green one though. I, I absolutely love this plant. Um, here's a new one coming out right here. These, uh, these pictures tend to grow really fast. I mean, from a little one like this, once it, it starts, uh, I mean, even from that stage, really, I mean, this thing is just going to start blowing up. And, uh, I mean, it, it just keeps producing pictures really, really fast, and they're really, really big. Um, yeah, this one, unfortunately, looks like it's going to die off, but, you know, it happens as they get a little bit older. I do believe this thing is just in pure sphagnum moss, long fiber sphagnum. And I uh, just want to show you guys my Ampularia, and that is her. Uh, fun fact, I think this is one of the only uh, Nepenthes that not only can eat small bugs, but this one was actually adapted over time to be able to survive off of leaves and, and uh, other foliage that drops off of trees. So it can actually turn like old leaves and stuff into food, which I don't, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Ampularia is the only Nepenthes that is adapted to do that. Um, once again, these peristones are just beautiful. I mean, they just shoot straight down, like, you know, in a high humidity area where their, their natural habitat is, and the um, that peristome just having all them ribs and ridges that go straight down, I mean, that is just a perfect funnel to catch, uh, to catch uh, prey. And then it has, if you can see in there too, like from where the wall is to the bottom of the peristome, I think it's hard to see because it's green on green. There's no really um, way to tell the difference of the colors there. But the lip is huge on this thing. I mean, anything that gets down in there, I just, I don't see it getting out at all. Like it'd be a pretty tough, tough get out. But yeah, that is my, uh, my Ampularia. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.